Currently, there are 153 different species of animals in Planet Zoo. 115 of those are the habitat species and 38 are the exhibit animals. It might seem like a lot, but there are still so many common zoo animals that are missing in our beloved game. Today, I would like to share with you guys my list of the animals that I still would love to see in Planet Zoo. Hello guys, this is Caesar Creates and welcome back to my channel! My list will be quite a long one and I am fully aware that I won't see the day when all of those animals are added to the game but I would be super happy to build habitats for at least some of the animals that I included here. Today's list will focus on the habitat animals as those are generally most requested by the community but if you guys would like to see my list of the exhibit species missing in Planet Zoo as well let me know down in the comments. I grouped all the animals according to their taxonomy, so classes, orders, clats and families were taken into consideration here. The order has no particular meaning, this is not a top 10 or anything like that, those are just animals that I like and I miss in the game. So without further ado, let's begin. Let's kick things off with the group that is very highly underrepresented in Planet Zoo. Birds. This list will focus mainly on terrestrial birds and birds that often have their feathers clipped in zoos which means that they can live in the open air enclosures. We won't focus on flying birds as they are still not confirmed for Planet Zoo and I could basically do an entire other video listing them. If you want it, let me know. Water birds and waterfowl are super common in zoos and are highly underrepresented in the game. My wishlist includes here the shoe bill, named after its enormous shoe shaped bill, the eastern white pelican, a bird that is very common in zoos around the world, scarlet ibis, that would add some color and size variation to our water birds exhibits, the European spoonbill, another bird with a very uniquely shaped bill. The beautiful black swan and the mute swan that is very common in the area where I live. Imagine those ponds filled with swimming swans. The Canadian goose, believe me or not, but this is a very common bird in European zoos. Ducks, such as a harlequin duck or a mandarin duck. It's hard to believe that we still don't have any ducks in the game. And the grey crowned crane, probably the most iconic crane out there. Just look at that crown. Uh, I was quite surprised when the red crown crane was added instead of this fabulous guy, but uh, maybe this one will also be added one day. Another underrepresented group of birds is the pheasant family. We only have the Indian peafowl. Uh, the ones that I would love to see are any kind of pheasant, but especially the incredible golden pheasant, the helmeted guinea fowl that would add a nice variation to our African savanna enclosures, or the western capicaylee, a majestic bird that lives in Europe. Other terrestrial birds that would make perfect additions to the game include the kiwi, the flightless bird native to New Zealand, the secretary bird, a large mostly terrestrial bird of prey from Africa, the adorable borrowing owl that unlike most owls is active during the day and lives in the burrows built by the prairie dogs. Another one is the Greater Rhea, the largest bird from the South America and another flightless bird that could be mixed with our llamas or capybaras. Last but not least, from all the birds that I listed here is the rock hopper penguin. We already have two species of penguins, but I think that you can never have enough of them and the rock hopper is a very characteristic one because of its yellow and black spiky feathers that they have on their hats. Another very underrepresented group in Planet Zoo is the monkeys, especially the smaller ones and the so-called New World monkeys. I am sure that during your regular zoo visits you are able to see at least dozen of different species, so let's bring that to Planet Zoo as well. My list starts here with the adorable squirrel monkey. Uh, those little guys have some really unique colors and would be a standout in our zoos for sure. Next up we have the tamarins, especially the emperor tamarin with his distinctive mustache and the golden lion tamarin with a shiny golden fur. Another monkey, a common marmoset, is a very common animal that we are still missing. 
Spider Monkey is well known for its long limbs and the long prehensile tail. Speaking of long limbs, I need to mention the Lark Gibbon here. I think that we could use another Gibbon in the game besides the Siamang, especially such an iconic one as the Lark Gibbon. Many people wonder why we still don't have the loud black howler monkey, because the signs for this animal have been in the game from the very beginning, and I definitely want to see it added one day. Another maybe slightly less known monkey that I love is the Ebony Langer. Just look at the beautiful colors of that fur. Talking about the beautiful fur, I cannot believe that the mantled Gareza is still not included. The contrast between its black and white fur is just striking. Last but not least, we have the two species of African baboons. The Gelada baboon and the very requested Hamedryas baboon that will make a perfect addition for Planet Zoo lovers. The next group that we'll cover in this video is Hoofstock Animals, my personal favorite of all the groups. You guys already know that. Uh, I know that those are probably not the most exciting animals to get in the DLCs, but the ungulates are one of the most common groups of animals in zoos and there, is, there are so many popular animals that are still missing in this category. My list here is quite long, so I will try to be quick. Firstly, let's cover some of the African antelopes that I would love to see in Planet Zoo. First of all, there are the giant and the common elant, which are the largest antelopes on Earth and common zoo animals. Another large antelope coming from Africa is the stunning Greater Kudu. Blackback is a smaller antelope with striking colors and a very characteristic horns. Talking about small things, here we have a tiny Dig Dig. Uh, which, believe me or not, is still considered an antelope. The critically endangered Adax would make a perfect addition to our desert enclosures. The long neck Garanek is also known as the giraffe gazelle and I am sure you can all see why. The Bontebok is a beautiful big antelope with the distinctive white marking on its face. We cannot forget about the Impala, one of the most common African antelopes. Waterback is a big antelope that prefers to live next to the lakes and rivers and that's how it got its name. Let's stay in Africa for a little bit longer because the next animal on my list is the African wild ass, the ancestor of the domestic donkey. Talking about the horse family, the gravy zebra is my favorite species of zebra and I believe that we could get another zebra for some added variation. The same goes for the Maasai giraffe, which has a very unique pattern and was an animal that was included in the Zoo Tycoon 2. I am very surprised that we still don't have the dromedary camel in the game and I hope that it will get added soon. I think that the dromedary would make a perfect anniversary free animal. Finishing the list of the African species in this category, here is the Barbary Ship or the Audat, a species of Caprin native to Rocky Mountains of North Africa. Staying in the mountain regions and moving from Africa to Asia, we have another beautiful Caprit, the Takin. Markhor is another mountain goat known for its incredible horns and the long beard. Talking about the ungulates from Asia, I just have to mention the Nilgai, the largest Asian antelope. I also included here some Asian wild cattle, especially the world's smallest wild cattle, the mountain anoa or the lowland anoa, and the large and majestic world's largest wild cattle, the gaur. The reef's munjak is a tiny ungulate that belongs to the deer family, although it doesn't resemble the traditional large deer. Let's fly over to South America for a second and talk about the guanaco and the vicuña, uh, the wild cousins of the domesticated llama that we already have in the game, but I think that the additions of its wild relatives uh, that live in the alpine areas of ants and plains would add a much needed variation to our South American sections in our zoos. The largest native animal in the Amazon, the South American tapir, is also considered an ungulate. I know that this may be surprising to some of you. After the entire Malayan tapir flop, I believe that Frontier could redeem themselves a little bit by giving us another tapir that would be designed perfectly. Returning to my continent, Europe, we have one honorable mention here, the Shetland Pony. I know that it is considered a domesticated animal, but looking at how well Frontier designed the Pshewalski's horse, I am desperate for another horse in the game and the tiny Shetland ponies are quite common zoo animals. 
I know that the pigs belong to the ungulate family, but I decided to consider them as a separate category. I believe that pig roster in the game could be bigger, especially since we are missing some iconic species here. Starting with the colored peccary, a tiny South American species that is very common in zoos around the world. I am very familiar with the European wild boar. There is a very high chance that I would meet one uh, if I would go for a walk in my local forest right now. Uh, taking that into the consideration, this is probably not the most exciting animal to be included here, but I saw it in several zoos and their babies are just adorable. The Red River Hawk, which is a highly requested animal by the community, had to make its way into my list. Its unique appearance would make a perfect colorful addition to our tropical enclosures. Moving on to another group of animals that I think could use some additions, the rodents. I could probably put this animal on the top of my most requested animals. Uh, this is the African crested porcupine, a beautiful nocturnal animal that is able to defend itself with its long quills. The Patagonian Mara is a large rodent from Argentina that lives in the monogamous pairs and is related both to the capybaras and the guinea pigs. Another rodent that I would love to see is the agouti, which also comes from South America and they are basically guinea pigs with longer legs. The latest additions widened our marsupial roster, but there are still some that I think should be added someday. The Tasmanian Devil is probably the most requested animal by the community right now, and I can totally see why. I mean, they are the only carnivorous marsupials in the world. The small opossum would be a such a fun addition in my opinion. The latest DLC showed us that Planet Zoo is not against adding tiny mammals, so I totally can see them being added. What can be better than the kangaroo? The kangaroo that can climb trees. Uh, the Godfellow's tree kangaroo is a beautiful animal and is again very requested by the community. Uh, this would be a great addition to the animals from Oceania. Moving on to another category, there are a lot of different bears in the game right now, but there are two species that I feel are still missing. The sloth bear, which is the shaggy Indian medium-sized black bear, and the spectacled bear, the only species of bear from South America with very distinctive white color markings across its face and upper chest that gave it its name. My last group contains the animals that didn't fit into the previous categories and I couldn't end this video without mentioning them, so here we go. Echidna is the only mammal besides the platypus that lays eggs and is a perfect addition to the Australian roster. Next up is the Asiatic Lion, a critically endangered lion from India that would present a perfect opportunity for Frontier to make another lion that would match today's standards of the animal models in the game. The adorable Koati is a cousin of raccoon coming from South America. It is a fairly common zoo animal that we are still missing. The Bush Dog is a very unique small canid living in the tropical areas of South America. Another animal is the Tamandu. Dua, a tree climbing anteater closely related with our giant anteater that we are already very familiar with. I almost made a mistake of grouping this next animal with the rodents, but the European hare is not included in the rodent family. Rabbits and hares belong to the Leporidae family and we don't have any animals from this family yet. Common Janet is a beautiful African omnivore related to Benturong. The next animal, the stoat, belongs to the same family as otters and badgers. It lives in most of the northern hemisphere and would make a nice addition to the small animals in the game. The same goes for the weasel. Talking about the small European animals, the European hedgehog is a tiny spined mammal that some people really want to see in the game. I know that we just got the 9 banded armadillo, but there's another unique armadillo that I would love to see in the game, the screaming hairy armadillo. When this animal is disturbed, it basically screams and this is how it got its name and I am totally here for that. And this is how we came to the last animal on my list and at the same time I am sure that this is the first and most important animal on so many people's list, the two-toed sloth. Of course, I would love to see this iconic sloth in the game, because we can simply all relate to that animal. The question is if Frontier would find a way of adding this almost fully arboreal animal to the game, perhaps walkthrough exhibits, who knows.
Okay, so this is all when it comes to the list of all the animals that I would love to see in Planet Zoo. We covered exactly 80 species of my favorite animals and even if several of these would ever be added to the game, I would be just over the moon. Let me know down in the comments if my list included some of your favorites or maybe you have some other animals on your list that were not included here. This was my very first time recording a video like this and if you enjoyed it, I can definitely do more in the future, so just let me know down in the comments. I need to give a huge shout out to Jurassic Tom for helping me writing a script for this video. Uh, you rock buddy, thank you so so much. Okay, so this is basically all that I have for you guys in this video. Uh, thank you so so much for watching. If you enjoyed uh, this video and would like to see more videos like that, please consider to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, give this video a big thumbs up down below if you enjoyed it. Ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. And of of course, leave me a comment down below with your list of your favorite animals that are still missing in Planet Zoo. Thank you so much for watching, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!